Hi right, YouTube, welcome to vlog number 35. This is the rat snake eggs that hatch. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Kendall is still alive. She has literally wrecked her cage. Shit and shed. So, you guys, I got to show you all some stuff. Um, stuff that's happening. Got some shout outs. You're gonna have to keep Calm and Patty on while we take a walk. Um, <clears throat> I want to shout out Kaleeb. Or Kaleb. Or it might be Caleb0176. Yes, for a shout out, so. A shout out to you, Caleb0176. I'll check him out. Been really busy up here place of the mess now got construction stuff all over the place and the wire and whatnot just got done almost installing this awesome pink granite bathtub new flooring covering up the old flooring and uh i also want to shout out atomics 69 a-T-O-M-I-X-69 That's an awesome uh, Awesome name by the way And Cherion Williams Look what we have here Whoa 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 New rat wreck I didn't do a DIY on this because um, Well there's already a DIY YouTube video on here and then some guy watched it and he made his own DIY video so I did that uh, and I can't piece my videos together no more but I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute I want to um, yeah, shout out Cheerion Williams and uh, Raymond Curate Q-U-I-R-A-T-E wants one of my snakes you can get one of my snakes um we have not decided what we're selling them for yet but uh i'm gonna show you what's going on with this real quick found this stuff at walmart mouse and rat figured I'd give them a treat i built this thing not out of two by twos like that it was supposed to be in the diy but you got a smaller thing y'all can see it's absolutely awesome Dog food falls right through this. The type that I use does not have red 40 in it, which causes brain tumors and shit like that in the rats. So I uh, use a different blend. These are just miscellaneous colony of rats. Um, breeding. And these, these are my mohawk line. Hey, this baby. Is, this is the... This is the Mohawk line rat breeding colony. Edward Tyndall's own line. I bred and bred and bred generation after generation to get perfect Mohawks on the heads of these things. And I have incorporated in here a scaleless, I mean a scaleless, a hairless male. So I'm going to be having hairless um, mohawk line as well soon. Yeah, rat. Rat will eat cheese, people. <laughs> um, and then there's Big Daddy in the back. Check him out. Check that mohawk. An awesome mohawk. Then we'll go down to the next rat one. We got uh, browns and black breeding colony here. I don't see very many black or brown rats anymore, so we got uh, these here. Look at that. Oh, bud, 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 wait. Hold on, dog's in here, this one's scared. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Got a uh, escapee. Gotta get this escapee real quick. Come here, bud. Come here. This one's really wild. Open, open. open. Get in there, stay in there. Sometimes they escape. I'm gonna show you what I got. That one, you stay back there. Stay. 
<laughs> what we got here. I'm trying to show these people what we got. They love their new and new uh, things so much. Here is a black one with white socks. And the browns. These are a little bit wild because I don't mess with them all the time. Then we go down oh, down here and we got the hairless rat breeding colony. Here's the hairless rat breeding colony here. They always like to kill their babies. So Sarah has came up with a plan to break them of that. She put babies in here that have hair on them and take the babies away from the mothers, the hairless ones, and let a haired rat raise it. And uh, so she just takes three or four of these with hair and uh, they seem to be raising them fine. You can see them, they're absolutely awesome. Awesome, amazing. And some of them have black eyes, some of them have different colored skin. I love that skin. And they're they're more calmer because I handle them more often. This is what I normally um, do. I take them where they get up to this one. You guys see their eyes are still closed. Yeah, take newborns away from the hairless. And then Where trade she them with these. thinks that she's had them and now taking care of them. Right. And that works out great so far. But these uh I love these new racks, they're awesome. And this is mouse breeding colony. Just uh fancy mice in here and let's see how many mice this is like how many clowns can they fit into a doodle bug? Let's see how many mice can fit underneath that little, <laughs> the little thing, a <laughs> little igloo. Look at that. Just so many of them. There's like 30 or so in there. Or 20 or 30, somewhere in there. I don't know how many exactly. It's a bunch of them. But yeah, this thing's awesome, people. This is the way to go. I'm going to get, put like a piece of plywood up here in a five gallon bucket with an automatic water system. So it has little nipples for water. And I will be building several of these in the future. So I went from stuff like this. And stuff like this. And this. To this. And it works. It works very well. I love it. And I'm going to be able to up my production. Um, a hundred fold. If not more. But I don't just breed rats and mice for feeders. I breed them because it's an animal that I love and we spoil them. I mean, you see Sarah bringing them cheese and stuff and we didn't just do that for the camera. This is an everyday, uh, everyday thing. <laughs> Our animals get spoiled, especially the ones that we use as feeders because yes, yes. they, uh, and these two are already spoken for. This is Giblet and Gus Gus. Oh, Giblet and Gus Gus. Hey, Gus Gus. Oh, Gus Gus was off of Cinderella, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he loves his ears rubbed and stuff. Yes, he does. Oh, look at all them wrinkles. That's so cute. Um, but yeah, where's that paper I had? Yeah, it's Raymond. Q U I R A T E. Quirte, Quirte, maybe. Hope I'm not murdering your name. Sorry about that. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, hey, put these in to soak. This is something interesting I want to point out to y'all. Soaking these Pac-Man frogs. This water's clear. This water's all substrate, full of substrate from the eco earth that this frog pooped out. So it's not bad idea to. Take your Pac-Man frogs and uh, let them soak every now and then. Oh, cool. Isn't that beautiful? Little snake out and looking. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, but yes, back to Raymond. It wants a snake. Uh, we have three of them. We have this one. You can see it's all alert and stuff and all strikey. <laughs> Typical awesome rat snake. They calm down as t time goes on, but being a little baby thing in, in the world and having to defend yourself from everything and everyone and not knowing what's your friend and what's not your friend. Whoa, look at that. 
Whoa. He's like, don't touch my tail. I'm going to bite you. I'm going to bite you. <laughs> yeah, that's another one that's available. And uh, we have this one that's also available. Oh. All of them are almost identical. They're predictable. I mean, you know what they're going to do, when they're going to do it. And I, I love that stance. That's a typical rat snake stance. After you get them out and handle them and stuff, they're, they'll calm down. Like these, these don't never strike anymore. And I believe that that is a boy and that's the father of these. I bred with a Het Skillis. Het Skillis. Female, which the scales do look different on here. Let me show y'all. Look at the tail. Hold on. It's like... Maybe micro skill or something. Hey, look. I had to change the subject. I'm sorry I'm all over. I got a very interesting room here. This frog was just chirping. This might be a male. Males chirp. This is a male. Might set up some kind of rain chamber or something to try to get some tadpoles. Maybe we can gather up with some frog A's. What do you got going over here? Yeah, this one's fixing to have some. I uh, already shed. Oh, it shed? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, you should have left it in there so everybody could see. Alright, hold on a minute. I'm going to put this back in there. Don't look. Oh, wow. We got a shed here. That oh, awesome. wow. awesome. Yes, what, what's under this paper you're hiding over here? Don't hide stuff. Wow! She took a dump in a shed. And I guess that's the pretty shed before she lays her eggs. Now leave in the comments below if you believe that she has eggs in her. I don't know when she's due. Well, she's she's big. She hasn't eaten in a while now, so she uh, she's got to be going to lay these eggs here soon. Let me hold her. Well, have that for me, darling. Y'all leave in the comments below if you like this, uh, if y'all like this snake. How beautiful it is. This was from, uh, when we lost our entire reptile room, this was a gift from Mad Hatter. Because he had went through something similar. It's awesome. It's got a number seven right there. And several other things. It's absolutely amazing. This is a dragonfly, which is a, uh, Pastel, fire, pinstripe. Yep. And she's gonna have some eggs here in a little while. I'm not trying to make an extremely long video though, people. I uh, I will be moving sunshine on my shoulder to make me happy tundle up here before long. This cage is absolutely huge right here. For, uh, you see Scar and how he sleeps. I will be putting sunshine up here probably put a divider in here a temporary divider and put sunshine on this side so sunshine can have the comfort of this area like everybody else which would be nice everybody's happy and don't even know that it's winter time in here which is amazing um that's it you got anything you want to tell our fans baby whoa spider Whoa, Peace, better. love, and happiness to everybody. Hope everybody has a great Christmas. Yes. Um, I think we've got some wonderful plans coming up soon. That we plan on doing for Christmas. The New Year's. Yeah, somebody, I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry, my memory is short. Um, Let me see my baby. But, uh, no, easy. I am being easy. The, they said they're glad I love budgies, yeah. I do love budgies and finches. You can see we got oh, finches back there in the back. She got that finch over there. Getting him some food. Remember some society finches. Then we ended up with this red one. He, he's a little, uh, he's a little player right there. He comes out and whistles and everything else got a red-headed bird red-headed kid red-headed woman yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so much redhead yeah, you gotta love your redheads yeah we're 1450 in people so I just wanted to sh cover a couple things for you guys mainly the mainly the rat rack and everything else and I know y'all love Pac-Man frogs and seeing different kind of stuff we got all kinds of stuff going on 
here. Uh, I'm gonna get another one of these bowls. These bowls were at Walmart for uh, for uh, I don't know if you can whistle them or not. Yeah, no, I guess not. They were uh, four dollars, I think. Yeah, you can whistle it. Whistling Pac-Man frog. You're going to press our ears. They don't have our ears. <laughs> women <sighs> yep all right people edward tindall and sarah tindall out y'all leave in the comments below what you think about the rat rack and if you like it um we still haven't come up with a price on the snakes but we can still got three of them they all are all going to make it um before any of them sell they will shed they will poop and they will have their first meal and poop it out before I ship them. So, uh, y'all remember that. We're keeping two, selling three. And, uh, I will be breeding the rattlesnake soon. Hey, happy. If y'all live in a state where you have the proper permits and stuff and you would like to get some babies from this yellow girl crossed with a pink, I don't know what the babies are going to look like. I'll eventually be getting albinos of these as well. And, uh, they'll uh, be able to ship but I will not be paying shipping on that as it is a hundred dollars for shipping um, and they have to be in put in a special box and all that kind of stuff I'd rather meet meet at a show or something if I'm doing some thing like that I'll be going to Lake Charles um, periodically probably more than once because I like Lake Charles show it's pretty cool but uh, we're out here this has been an extremely long video Vlog number 35. Y'all, uh, please hit the like button. Share. What are these eggs? The wash season. Try them out. Does that sound pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Share and, uh, are you done and uh, subscribe. Are you looking for Mikey? And like. And I appreciate all my new subscribers. If y'all want a shout out, leave it in the messages. I will definitely shout you out. I love my fans. Without you guys. I wouldn't have nothing to share but all this stuff with myself. So, Edward Tindall, out. Really? Yeah, really. I'm out. Really? No. Oh, this. yeah, he don't want to go nowhere. No, this is Mikey's snake. Yep. Oh, yeah, you keep changing them. All right, we're out of here, people.